Okay, boys and girls, here is a book called A Perfect Mess by Steve Breen. And if you can see the cover, it looks like he's, uh, what kind of animal is he? He looks like a rhino. And he's got a backpack and a juice pack and a soccer ball. Huh, let's see. Steve Breen, A Perfect Mess. Ooh, look at him. He's trying to stay clean, but staying clean isn't easy. See, he's got grass stains over here. He's got jelly on his shirt. Look, he's got the rust from the chain link fence. He's got spaghetti sauce right here. He's got mud on his sneakers. He's got pancake syrup on his, on his shirt. Gum on his shoe. Mustard. And chocolate milk, and his horn is dirty. And most days, 7:23 a.m. Henry didn't mind being a messy one bit. Wow, he likes making a mess. 7:25 a.m. Only two minutes later, and he's all dirty. Say he's clean here. 7.23 a.m., he's all nice and clean, and then two minutes later, he's all dirty. And you see his mom's not happy. But when he woke up Tuesday morning, he vowed that things would be different. And you can see his room is all messy. I picked out your nicest shirt for school today. Please try your best to keep it clean, Mom said. I will... Henry Henry promised. For breakfast, Henry ate the whitest food in the fridge. He even wore his little sister's bib. Oh, you see, that's his little sister's bib. He doesn't want to make a mess. Henry's mom handed him a packet of wipes, just in case, as he headed out the door. Oh, I see, she's going to give him the wipes just in case he makes a mess. Henry carefully jumped over every muddy puddle on his way to the bus stop. Oh, he did not want to get anything on his sneakers. Uh-oh, but it looks like he made a little splash here on his friend. Sam passed Henry a jelly donut, but Henry handed it right back just as the bus hit a pothole. Oh no! Whoops! Oh, it looks like the jelly donut got all over his uh, panda friend. During art class, Henry was worried about spilling paint, so he asked Mrs. Williams' permission to sit in the back of the room. So let's see what he's doing. Oh, he sat in the back. Oh, no. He knocked over all this stuff, and the paint splattered everywhere. At snack time, Henry chose water instead of grape juice and cookies. But he tripped on Gordon's backpack. Oh, boy. There's the backpack. And it there he goes. Excuse me, Henry said. Oh, now he spilled all the juice. When he sat down to write an apology note, his pen stopped working, so he shook it. Oh boy, now what do you think happened? All the ink splattered everywhere. Lunch was going fine until Henry sprinkled pepper on his cottage cheese in the cafeteria. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what happens when you sprinkle too much pepper? Ah, uh, ah, chew! Up oh, there goes the pepper. Oh boy, and look, a big mess. Oh, oh, wow. Squirt and flip and flip and squirt, flip, flip, everything. His food's going everywhere. Wow, look at all that. What a mess. By that afternoon, the whole class had had a run in with Henry, but Henry had stayed perfectly clean. Look at the mess. Everybody is a mess. But Henry is still clean. Then Mrs. Williams lined everyone up. Come on, class. 
follow me, she said. They walked to the gym and took their places in front of the camera. Class picture time, Henry's teacher said. Oh no, she can't be serious. She's going to take a picture of the class when they're all messy and dirty? Say cheese, said the photographer. Cheese, said the class. Henry beamed the whitest and brightest, that is, until someone yelled. Someone. Group hug! And everyone grabbed Henry. Uh-oh, I don't think <laughs> Henry's going to be clean anymore. Henry may not have stayed perfectly clean, but he and his friends were perfectly happy at the end of the day. I'm looking at Henry's passing out the wipes that his mother gave him. Looks like they're coming in handy. And Henry coming back from school jumps on the puddle. <laughs> uh, well, Henry is Henry. The end.